This is the future. This is the future. Hi guys, welcome back to Crib Zone. And I feel I had to make a video, so I kind of made a video. So what I did this weekend was to fix a dent in my wife's car. Attempted. I can put it to you this way. I attempted to fix a dent. I'm not a professional when it comes to taking out dents. But what happened was, driving the way she drives, she flew out the driveway like a bat out of hell, not looking what she was doing, and drove right into another car that was parked in her blind spot in our complex parking space. And that guy was working for a security company and he was sitting and sleeping in his car. So he got a rude awakening because she bumped into his car and he had to go and please explain to his boss why he was he sleeping on the job. And she got a, a, a dent on the back of the boot. And this happened literally a week after the car came back from the panel beaters after they fixed hail damage. So you guys can think I was quite pissed off. But anyway, the guy was parked in kind of a blind spot. It, the, the place where the car is parked, you cannot see it until you're right on top of it. Although, if she checked in that direction before she got into the car, she would have known there was a car standing there. But anyway, needless to say, the car got bumped. So I attempted to take out the dent in the car. Sorry about the rumbling in the background, guys. Um, it's actually raining outside while I'm doing the recording. So here you can see the dent clearly on the back of the boot. The only way that I can think of um, how to get to that dent was to go from the inside out. So obviously first I have to remove this mat or cover and you do it by removing those clips. And um, also you have to unhook the cables that hold the backboard in place. So we'll remove those clips and then we'll see what we can see. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's the dent from the inside. And unfortunately this support is in the way because some of the dent is also sitting behind the support. So I'm going to take a screwdriver and see if I can push the dent out from inside. Okay guys, I hope that looks better. I'm left with a little bunch of small bumps, small dents, instead of one big one now. But I think it looks a little bit less obvious than it did before. So at least I did attempt to take it out. I'm not as good as the other guys, but that's it. So thanks guys. If you want to see something more interesting, uh, just yesterday I was driving with my BM and I got a sudden power loss. And you will not believe what I found. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you want to see how I fixed the BM again. There's also another one coming, another video on the BM, uh, my airflow transistor, they call it a transistor, has stopped working. So there's no airflow coming into the car, so we're going to replace that module next week. So um, yeah, if you want to see all that kind of repair stuff, then uh, please remember to subscribe. And I promise you, it's not like I break things so that I can make videos, the shit just keeps on happening. So I probably shouldn't complain because it's good material for my videos. But I'm getting kind of sick and tired of having to repair my BM and everything else every week. And it gets a bit expensive after all. And as always, if you like this video, then hit the subscribe button to join the Cripsonian family. Also, hit the bell icon so that you can get notified of any of my further uploads. Give me a thumbs up, it will really help out this channel. You can also go and visit my website at www.cripsone.co.za where you will find hyperlinks on all the pages except for the main page. The main page will show you exactly what the channel is about. Then if you're interested to see what's happening on the podcast page, you can go to podcast. On the Cripsone live page, you should find out the time slots of my next live stream and what we have planned for the evening. And then on the Cripsone YouTube channel page, you can go and um, subscribe directly to the channel 
see what videos have already been posted and see what new projects I'm working on. Also you can go to contact and you can email me if you have any questions. So thanks very much for your support guys. Until next time, cheers.